Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another BTS Wednesday. Today I'm reacting to something that I'm very excited about and I'm talking about Jungkook singing Hate You Live at iHeartRadio. When I tell you that I love this song, I'm not exaggerating. I love, love, love this song. When I first listened to his album preview, you know, the video where he showed like the snippets of all the songs, this one and Yes or No were immediately my favorites. I even said in the Standing Next to You reaction I did when the album came out that I was very excited to listen to those songs. And after listening to the entire album, I knew those two were my favorites, but I didn't know that I was going to love this song so much. After a month and a half of his album being out now, I'm still in love with this song and Yes or No. Like, all the songs are good. And especially um, Closer to You and Please Don't Change are like two of my go-tos when I'm a little, when I need a little happy vibe. But Yes or No and Hate You are like, from the very moment I heard them, they were my favorites. So hearing him sing this live is going to be so good. I've seen him sing this live already when he did his showcase concert thingy, but it doesn't hurt to listen to him sing it again, especially now that he's left. Um, it's going to be a little sad, <laughs> but I'm very excited. So we're just going to hop straight in. Let's go. Look at all that hair. All of that is gone now. <laughs> and I'm sad about it. <laughs> well, it's the same place where he did uh, standing next to you. These lyrics are so beautiful and I've seen a lot of people react to him doing Standing Next to You at iHeartRadio and all of them were like, his mic is really on, he's really singing this live. Duh, <laughs> he's JK, of course he's singing this live and he sounds amazing. I think a lot of people can relate to this song. Um, I've been in a happy relationship for 10 years now, for more than 10 years now, so I'm not really relating to this song currently. When I was a teenager, I would have loved this song equally as much and could have related to it so much. <laughs> um, and I know it's such a comfort song for a lot of people. It can be. <laughs> we were Okay, before he goes to the bridge, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love that the band doesn't play during the verses, but only during the chorus. It's just his voice during the verses and a little um, backtrack, but it just gives it this intimate feel. Okay, now onto the bridge.
That was gorgeous. So good. That bridge, I love what he does that. He did that a few times during a live stream where he took a different harmony to the one he does on the song. Um, and he also did it in his showcase, I believe. But that is just one of my favorite things he's ever done. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry for my rumbling belly to disturb <laughs> JK's incredible singing, but I haven't had lunch yet. When he did his live streams where he was singing a lot of his songs, I always noticed that he loved singing this one the most. And there are a lot of like behind the scenes clips of him doing like his jacket shoot and stuff where he is singing this song. So I think this is one of his favorites as well. And I like it because it's mine as well. I love it so much. That was so good live. Um, and I love how he's just proving to everyone what a great superstar he is. Um, except from the fact that he is going away for 18 months now. Um, but we'll, we'll get there. They'll come back and they'll be bigger and better than ever. Thank you so much for watching this with me. Please let me know in the comments down below what other BTS videos, performances, compilations, anything you want me to react to, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you like the video, subscribe, and then I will see you in the next one. Bye.